So we had one, one example actually of a, of a GUI yeah, that we that used, built the tool We used tool here. this tool here, which is the, uh, um, the, um, mentor. the Mentor, the mentor GUI yeah. Builder. And just very quickly, in just a couple of days, we built you know two versions of a uh, of an IFE GUI. It thinks for a little bit while it's making the. There we go. So here you see, you know, it's uh, pretty straightforward. So we'll bring this back here, for example, and you have a watch menu. So we have one configuration for videos where you know it's all multi-touch and and. Uh, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'll show you an example of how cool the GUI tool is. So if, for example, you know, music videos, for example, have a totally different representation from uh, uh, videos themselves. And this is this is the 500 megahertz version of the ISAM. It's good. It's a gigahertz by the time it releases. This is a fusion monitor. Yes. Yeah, so, so this was yes, the fusion monitor. Yeah. And how does this compare to? Um, this is the Eco 9i. Eco 9i. Yes. <laughs> And this compares how, in what way, to the, the one that we saw when Fusion was first unveiled. Last this, year. That is, this this, this is the is one. It. So okay. we couldn't. The, the, the other ones are in qual right now. So actually, for the show, we ended up having to use last year's monitor. Okay. So the new ones are, are have have a better touch screen and they're quite a bit faster. So yeah, this is slow compared so. with how it would really be. So so but the but the performance, I mean, it's, is it's, exponentially yeah, it came out smoother good. than than what you were running last Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Oh yes. They had yes. just yes. started. So, so this is this is really cool because this is yeah. like skinning, right? So here you see a theme change. Yeah. So yeah, last year. A lot of the underlying the one we're just looking and at, and now with one touch of a button, I completely bring in a totally different GUI. Right, so it'll, if you can think in terms of, for example, having a child skin, where kids have a very simplified GUI, it also employs parental controls at the same time, where you have like a low-tech GUI for people that are technophobes and just don't really enjoy that, or just multiple skins within the same environment, and yet the behavior of the system itself is very, very similar. So I'm going to go back to the other one here real quick and get to the settings. And do you guys give, ever give any consideration to trying to actually port iOS onto onto one of these devices? Did, was there ever kind of a look at maybe you could, you know, work with with Apple and and, and get and really get that well, to I, a, a new new? new yeah, place? I mean the the, the, the reason the reason for going down this road this is, is uh, kind of the same same the reason we were in Linux instead of three Windows was uh -huh. this stuff's open right, so and, and this. relatively easy to get to and yeah. do your own drivers. Uh, the other ones. You know, this really oh, is an Apple's market. Oh, right? very uh, nice. This is a 3D performance yeah. of the so device it actually, itself. And this know. is just pool game app. It just yeah. yeah, we just pulled it off the web. How yeah. fun is that? Let's see if I can play and Again, this is previous down. generation. The yeah. actual production monitors are much faster. Before. How just, surprised were you guys when you were able to just simply pull them off and everything worked out just fine? I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was because uh, that was you know what we were li really trying to do was create a, an abstraction layer so that software for an ISM and, 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 and software on the on the, the current generation of X2, even though they're different processor architectures, you could you know you could run the same software on both of them. So that was the real uh, the real genesis of this. Um, and also we wanted to leverage you know, when you, Google's done a huge amount of work in how do you have apps that you can load that protect the the, the, the device so the apps can't break each other. Right, so they've done a lot of work underneath the, the, the hood so that any possible combination of apps should, in theory, work. But, uh, but ultimately, you're going to be kind of challenging the industry because, I mean, they're going to follow suit. They're all going yeah, to want to... I mean, this is one of those cases where, you know, it, it, in some ways it may make others' lives better than ours. Yeah. You know, because we have a lot of apps already, but I think it's, it's, it's where we need to go. Right. Um, and did we show you the, the, the Pacify the Passengers application? Did you see that? This is, this is so that we can just, you're getting very, very sleepy. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. So it's time to go to bed. Oh my god, isn't it? If you stare at that long enough, it'll really mess with your visual perception. Oh, oh crap. That's cool. Or have you already gotten to a point where you can kind of start having a conversation with well, another hardware maker and say, hey, well, this is what we're doing? Um, well, at the, at the hardware level, I mean, a lot of this is more kind of probably at the software level. So it would be, you know, fairly regular contact with Apple on, you know, looking at iPods and things like that and, and, and interfacing various portable devices. I think ultimately it's, 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 you know, a device that, you know, is able to leverage a lot of the, of the, the, the scale work that you're doing in other environments. So, you know, Android, Google's you know, got billions of dollars to invest in, in really developing something that works really well in an embedded environment. And, you know, and they made it open, so you know, good for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because we can tune it. You know, one of the things in, in the aerospace area is, is you kind of have the standard off-the-shelf stuff, but it always needs some level of tweaking underneath. And to the extent that you can do that, 
you're much safer than if you're stuck with this, this blob of, of binary code and, it, and though it has this problem every so often, you know, and you can't really get it fixed because the, the vendor of it, you know, you're this much and they've got this much, you know, this yeah. huge market. They're just not interested.